Hey guys, I know it's been a long time since I've done anything on my Infinity uh, behind me, but today I'm finally, I'm finally gonna do the front bumper, the grill, and the lower bumper, which includes the Baja Designs lights. I don't know, maybe a year ago I posted a video about doing this project, I just haven't got around to it. Really it comes down to the garage space, it's too hot outside typically, and the NSX is always parked in the garage. But since it's out right now at the time, getting warranty work done, it's also gonna free up a lot of space in my garage, so let's go. Okay guys, the first thing we have to do is we gotta get this bumper off. I also forgot to seal the driver's side headlight when I had it off last time. I did all that stuff about resealing the lights and I actually forgot to do it. So it's been leaking ever since. However, I knew one day, one day I'd have to take this thing off and we're gonna do it right now. I'm not gonna show you exactly step for step because that's in another video. And there's plenty of videos online that show you how to do that. Hi guys. I know I should probably be wearing goggles. I'm not. Do this at your own risk without goggles. Cause you know there's a bunch of crap underneath here. It's gonna go in your eyes. I don't know what my goggles are. Does this happen to anybody else? Look at all these bolts. They're all different. <laughs> but they're all 10 millimeter. So you kind of get in where you fit in, or you get them in where you could fit them in and keep moving on with your life. All right, so I didn't have as many as I should and they didn't all match, but it's got the job done. Make sure you're subscribed to this page for more life hacks. So yeah, each, each side should have like three or four screws and clips as well. And then under here, I think I have to take this off actually and reach under there. And I know there's one or two, uh, five, uh, I think 10 millimeters under there. I should probably go get my keys because I do find it is a lot easier to turn on the car or release the steering wheel, crank it over so you can access the fenders, the fender liner a little easier than trying to reach your hand in, you know, behind the rubber. So, life hack. By the way, guys, I'm pretty sure you know I have a podcast because that's what this page usually is when I'm not working on car stuff. Hardparkingpod.com. You can always get the latest episodes. You can get this awesome swag at the Hard Parking Pod store. Also, hardparkingpod.com. And at some point, I'm going to add a store to this actual YouTube. So then you don't have to go around and click everywhere. But you can support me by buying this stuff. Okay, guys, check this out. We are about to go inside a 2009 Infiniti FX50S. This is a rare vehicle. Few people appreciate it. Those who know, know what we are about to embark in. Let's check it out. You guys like that? That's for all the real YouTubers out there. Okay, so this side, this looks like the last man standing as well. Thank God they make a lot of locations, right? Or else my stuff be falling off. Looks like one came off down here. But then you have these two, pull this back, and then you can pull the fender liner back and then get to the clips or the screws that are here, or the bolts. I think there's one or two 10 millimeter bolts right here. And then there could be one up here, I believe, um, sorry behind the headlight. But you don't have to touch this, the fender, to get it off. It's just all bumpers. Actually, now that I think about it, I know there was a reason why I was pulling the liner back on the other side and I was curious. You get to these right here. There we go. There they are. Yep, gotta get those out of there too. Two on each side. No, you didn't. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you a really quick correction on something I said earlier in regards to the fenders. So this fender liner thingy, whatever, I know this is the fender liner, but this is what actually holds the bumper in. I don't think it's being held in by anything right here. Here, and of course I had the two 10 millimeter here, so 
The purpose of releasing this is so you can pull this back just enough to uh, release grip. These are just clips. See the little red clips? And that's what's holding the bottom half of the bumper in. Well, it's one of the support systems that hold the bumper in. Okay, so there is one Phillips screw in the fender arch. You're gonna need this. This is gonna make life a whole lot easier. It's gonna make it easier for me to get to that last 10 milli on each side. And then the bumper should come off. Okay, let's try this again. Got the one out here, and then this kind of pops out. Everything's loose. This is out. This is out. That side's out. There's one retention clip up here. I believe that should be it. Get the wires. Main wiring harness. Yeah. All right, I want you guys to take a look at this. So the bottom clip, the bottom part of the bumper, that thing over there, see it's attached with all these 10 millis also. So keep that in mind. I'm taking the whole unit off at once because I have to change it out. And obviously I'm gonna reattach it before I put it back on, but it's just kind of important to know that there seems to be, see three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 of those. I started disconnecting the sensors, but really I just need to connect, disconnect the mains here, these two, and obviously the fog lights. We should be good to go. Okay, I got everything changed over on the bumper. Almost, I need to show you guys something I did not anticipate. So what you're looking at, the bumper's upside down. What you're looking at, this is the front camera, okay? And when I zoom in here, you can see those look like rivets, and I have a rivet gun, but I wasn't prepared for that because on the other side of this thing, there are no actual screws. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm just gonna have to take some tin snips, I'm gonna have to cut them off each post, back out the screws, take this piece off, and then the camera should pop out the other side, and then I'm gonna have to figure something out. I might go super ghetto and do some epoxy. I don't really know what else I would do other than buy a brand new camera unit. I'm trying to get this done this weekend. I don't necessarily want to leave the car sitting in the garage without a front bumper because who knows, I may be able to use it. Granted, I do have an RDX outside, but I have to source the part first. So it could take a day, it could take a week, it could be out of stock, it could be $130. So I think I'm just gonna take my chances. I got it off, I ended up putting in these two top screws back in. It was never about the top screws, which I suspected, you guys can see that right there. It's just about those two, and as you see, they're all ripped up. I don't know why they don't have screw posts on them for small, like seven millimeter screws, but now I gotta figure that out once I get the other piece off. And just for reference, here is the other side of it. So the bumper that I bought does not have this, and I feel like you need this to make it more complete. Otherwise, it'll just be an open, exposed hole um, on the other side of this, so. So I pried it off, and it ended up really just being uh, some adhesive so it probably had some factory tape and then these were I guess kind of glued in here or some sort of a factory something but I have a couple options but I think the best option is to clean off the back of this and apply some 3M tape to it I have thick and thin 3M tape so a couple thin strips um, clean up the contact area on the bottom of the new bumper just stick it in there and it should actually never really go anywhere in order for the Baja Designs lights to work, I bought this on eBay or Amazon, which obviously is a wiring harness, but uh, this end goes to the car and this end doesn't work. So fortunately, I have a tool for that because the Bajas come with these and this. So I don't think it's something everybody typically has, but I have it. The goal is to have the OEM switch operate the fog lights, which is why I'm doing this. It does come with its own switch and I may redo it later, but for now, I'm gonna do it this way, so yeah. Man, that looks great with the new headlights and the fogs. I kinda wanna install the relay in the manual switch so that I can just get the DRLs without the light well, at the main uh, lane drop, uh, light bulb there, I can't talk. And the fogs, but I don't know. We'll see. 
I kind of want to get this thing put back together. It is now day two because of the, I lost one of the harnesses. Okay, after giving it some careful thought, I've decided I am not gonna go with this aftermarket wiring harness, although it has its own relay and everything else. Okay, so ultimately what I can do is find an aftermarket solution, skip using this, that way I can isolate using my awesome DRLs, also aftermarket as well as these Baja designs, and that's gonna look really good. But first, time to get this crap put back together. Hopefully I don't have any leftover screws because I'm really bad at that. Okay guys, there it is, man. Brand new bumper, sort of, because I've had it for a year sitting in the garage. Brand new lower bumper, new black grill, black emblem, and the Baja designs. Fog lights look great. Let's turn those fog lights on. I don't know about you guys, but that thing looks great. All I have to do now is put on the front lower arrow and the thing is gonna be legit. Take a few pictures and that's it. As always, if you guys like this content, please hit subscribe. I need likes like this, like this. And don't ask me any questions that are answered in the video. Check the description for links as well. See ya.